your fave is a problematic. A phrase we have been hearing time and time again as more celebrities get cancelled these days. What does it take for a celebrity to get cancelled? In many cases, some having crazy history pop up from when they were younger, maybe a video, some old tweets, or something their friends have leaked. Not sure if it's the rise of the internet, but it seems like everyone who is at least a C-list celebrity has some skeletons in their closet. One of the ways that celebrities are getting their dirty laundry aired out is when they are either recorded or snitched on for being mean to their fans. Imagine meeting your dream celebrity and they are a nightmare to deal with. Well, it happens. All the time. Here are 10 celebrities that are rude or mean to their fans. Let us know if your favorite is on this list and if you would cancel them. Known for playing the loving Marshall on How I Met Your Mother, this sweetheart in real life is allegedly actually really rude to his fans. I mean, being bothered every day during your life for photos and autographs can certainly be annoying. But in 2014, at the premiere for his new movie at the time, Sex Tape, Jason apparently slammed the car door in a fan's face when she asked for an autograph. At the movie premiere! Which is like, the whole point! Well, that sure sucks. I need to find a model that is sustainable where I'm not constantly feeling like I haven't arrived yet. Or I'm in a state of waiting for this thing to happen. At the same movie premiere, alongside her colleague Jason Siegel for Sex Tape, Cameron Diaz was just as rude as her counterpart. While the duo was leaving the theater where the movie just played, only a few fans were sitting outside asking for photos. And the two were really adamant about not taking any photos. It wasn't even enough people to form a bit of a crowd. Why be mean to your fans? They are the reason they are famous in the first place. Hey. Holy <laughs> I just had an idea. Let's film ourselves having sex. That's a great idea. This is your best idea ever. Hello. And welcome to an evening with Annie and Jay. Honey, erase that video. No erase it, babe. Don't forget, okay? This iconic queen might not be all the royalty we think she is. Yikes. According to crew members of Transformers, Megan Fox had some intolerable moments with director Michael Bay. It was leaked that Michael Bay called Megan horrible to work with, which caused fans to be outraged. They publicly exchanged insults, making it even worse for the both of them. Apparently, Megan Fox was really rude to the staff and crew, as well as who worked so hard to get her ready for the set. I'm glad you didn't make me watch the dialogue scenes. That was a weird, that was one of the first things I did. It's a shame that these things survived long enough to see the dawn of the internet, because had it like, it, it would be nice if they had a, like it had eclipsed. Like the internet was born, but these things had sort of fallen away and no one could find them. But here we are. Once compared to Megan Fox and her as being another diva, Angelina Jolie is next up on the list of rude celebrities. Angelina resides in Los Angeles with her children, who are all a rude crew to her fans. Apparently, when the lockdown started, she and her children were creating a lot of noise in their $2.5 million property. Her neighbors were very dissatisfied with the chaos ensuing in their neighborhood. Maybe she wasn't exactly rude to the fans in their face, but sure is annoying to act like that in a quiet LA neighborhood. We, Brad and I never had intentions of uh, turning our children into actors. When I was on set, um, I was, I think, quite physically scary for children. And when little children would come to set and they would see me in person, they would cry. <laughs> and and uh, one little kid actually froze for a good five minutes and just stared at me. Cue the memes about her not being generous. If you've ever opened the Twitter app for more than 20 seconds in 2020, then you probably know all about the backlash and disappointment from The Ellen Show. A tweet went viral when a previous employee tweeted that she is actually really mean to her employees, and of course, that tweet went viral. Many other former employees had a lot to say as well, even though some of those claims may not be verified. However, many people admitted that the workplace was toxic and full of verbal abuse. At the start of season 18, Ellen publicly apologized to fans on live TV, but many are still saying it was insincere. How was everybody's summer? Good? Yeah? Mine was great. Let's get to it. Um, as you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. And then there was an investigation. The king of basketball himself is apparently so rude to fans. Imagine being a child who loves their basketball idol only to find out that he is actually a huge jerk. 
very heartbreaking. In fact, there are a whole list of reasons why he is not nice to fans and even other celebrities. One instance is when he was on a golf course in Miami and was asked to change his clothing to fit into the club's dress club, but refused. The club then banned him for life from the club, all over a dress code. It's not that hard just to follow the rules. Also, a rapper named Cha Millionaire asked MJ for a photo and was told no. Cha Millionaire has his own side of the story uploaded in a 10 minute YouTube video. I'm gonna go say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Mike for a picture. And then I said, um, I went over there and I said, hey fellas, you know, nobody was talking, they was just chilling, whatever, right? And I was just like, um, man, I don't mean to be rude, but Mike, I just want to know if it's, if I could get a, uh, a picture. And then, now I understand, I kind of expected him to say no. So I, I wasn't mad if he said no, but the way he said it, he said, oh, hell nah, man, I ain't taking no pictures with no niggas. And he said it like that, and I was like, I kind of got st stunned for a second because I was like, wait a second, I don't think he heard. I turned back and my boys were just looking at me like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of thought that he didn't hear what I said and I was like, Okay, are we surprised by this one at all? It feels like time and time again since he was just a teen, Justin Bieber was really rude to his fans. These poor girls gush after him only to be disrespected by him seemingly once a year. When Justin Bieber was 19, which was in 2013, he was caught spitting on fans outside of his balcony window. The singer leaned over the balcony to wave to his fans and just decided to literally spit on them. Maybe the pressure was too much or the girls were just too annoying, but this is just rude. It was also rumored that he spit on a DJ as well a few weeks after. What is wrong with this dude? People often forget that even with some of their comments and stuff, they think that it doesn't get to me, but it gets to me, you know, things that people... This one is kind of shocking. Apparently, Rihanna cyberbullied a fan, a super crafty fan at that. A 16-year-old girl decided to make her own prom dress to be similar to Rihanna's red carpet style. Usually, a fan getting attention would be a life-changing moment of happiness, but not from the queen who later tweeted the photo of the young girl with a sad face. Fans then took to the internet to make fun of the girl's outfit as well. Luckily, the teen had a mature response and was still proud of her look. What a jerk. First picture. So Rihanna puts this picture up and she shows like a side by side in, in the green dress you see Rihanna in the black dress you see Alexis Carter and um, in the caption she had like a sad face basically in implying that oh look she looks terrible. <laughs> 